What do you think, Bob, about? I'm thinking about one either la in within the last year or the last two years it's been done. What's the price on a pump like that, Bob? Um, let me see if I can uh, let's see if I can find it here. I was going to go back, you know, back through. I'm guessing it's probably somewhere in the neighborhood of a thousand or something like that. I would have to. I was going to go look and see if I can find a quote here while we're we're talking. Um, bear with me a second. And Jesse would have that too if you have the record. It would show what. And what, look at. Okay. Well, Larry, I, I kind of don't agree because I think now we are aware of it and we're in the position of having to get another pump. Um, and I believe that we should say it's been determined that your wiring has caused this. We just replaced the pump, you know, within whatever time frame. And um, we believe that this is your responsibility because your wiring has caused it. That's my feeling. Yeah. Well, if if we would have if we would have noted that the wiring was the fault uh, to begin with, and we told them to replace the wire, and they didn't, then I would say, yeah, it's on them. But we just determined what the cause of the problem is, and so uh, uh, I don't uh, I don't feel that uh, it's uh, it's the customer's responsibility. How many uh, residents are hooked to that one pump, Bob? Well, it's two condos, but each condo has two units in it, so it would actually be considered four, four. units. Four units. So it'd be in, and it'd be the probably the homeowners association that pays for. Yeah, the condo owners association. That's correct. Yeah, yeah. So, so, but it's still, uh, you know, we didn't notify them that hey, you need to repair the wire because it caused the fault. We we found out that that was the cause of the fault. So. Right. It's it's our it's our responsibility, and if they fail to uh, repair their wire and and it blows a pump again, then then it's on them. Right. Okay. I I don't agree. I I don't see what putting them on notice has to do with the responsibility of they caused it, um, and they it's their responsibility. I don't. It's not, it's not that they did it on purpose, or um, actually. So, I, I can't. I can't see how you can put that on them. Right. Um, well, I. We can put it on them because the people that came out and checked it out said that's what caused it. So I. I, think, I don't know. I think if we review this, it's an important decision because for my three years that I've been here, this is the first time we can say this is beyond what I believe is our control panel, but it's your source that caused the problem. So I think right. we may be setting a precedence here for anything else that comes up. That's right. right. I, I, because I think we've already kind of set the precedence anyway with uh, the captain's wheel because uh, uh, we never charge them for any repairs that we've done. Uh, because their lines of uh, their lines have leaked, or their lines are clogged up. I mean, not leaked. Yeah. Well, well, I want to talk you, about the captain. Already set that mm -hmm. precedence that okay, we're doing those repairs, but uh, uh, you know, uh, now that we've figured out what the problem is, if you don't correct your problem, then mm -hmm. we're going to charge you for for those, you know, further pumping and any other repairs. So this is the same the same thing. Well, well, Larry, we just paid for another. We just paid for another pump out, which we had one done in October, and now we just did another one. We still don't have any um, <clears throat> grease, grease trap um, paperwork. Yep. Well, I, yeah, yeah, we we, we 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 can't really talk about the captain's wheel on this agenda, yeah. but I can add it. Do you want me to add it to the next agenda? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, but I, I but I we've discussed this before. And and I remember saying that that uh, you know any further issues if they're not uh, if they're not providing information if they're not fixing it then uh, then we should be charging them. So Correct. We should be charging them, and we we didn't we didn't charge them this last month yeah. again. Um, yeah, that. But they they know the problem and they know what they're supposed to do. So 
the, these, the homeowner or the condo association didn't know the problem, so they, they couldn't fix the problem until we found out because of the pump. So I don't, uh, to me, I don't feel that it's, it's their problem or, uh, or the pump. I, I feel that the, the lift station is, is, I mean, even though we're in charge of it, it's still the ultimate outcome of it belongs to the homeowner, but that's my opinion. So I think the homeowner should probably reimburse us for the, the thing, but. Uh, I do too. And Jesse, while well, I'm thinking of it, will you put that on the next agenda to discuss uh, the, the permit and contacting DDQ to get it changed? And I also just throw one other thing to, to maybe in terms of that agenda and modifying, and that is we're talking about we'll probably have the captain's wheel on there and and what we've done there. But then by the same thing, if any of you've read Jess Getz's letter, Pat McIntyre is the owner of the captain's wheel, and Jess is basically saying his meter's next to mine. I want it moved. So I'm wondering if we should have that letter included on the same agenda because both of them involve the owner of the captain's wheel. Yeah, I would imagine that letter is going to have to be on the agenda from just, yeah, I, I did ask Jesse yesterday to send it over to Field with the letter that we sent him. So uh, hopefully we'll have some insight from him at right. the meeting too, where we stand at the Right, and right. the connection is the owner of the captain's wheel is in that Jess Guest letter as well as what we're going to deal with on the agenda. So it'd be probably good to maybe handle them both at the same time, knowing he's going to be getting it from two different angles from us. Okay. Right. Right. Um, um, for the contacting DEQ for, for changing the permit, um, what exactly, what permit and what's changing? We're, we're talking about the permit that was issued when we originally did the sewer system. We no. were, yeah. We, Bob said we are the only one that has the requirement for the district, you know, to have to pay for the, the pumps. So I'm just not um, aware of any others in Kootenai County is what I'm saying. Yeah. Maybe so I, or yeah. Or, yeah. I think we, we need to see if, if that can be changed. Right. Cause I, I you know, you go outside the, the district here to a private residence and I know guys that have toilets in their basement and with, you know, like you say, they're a chop lift pump and, and then it's theirs, you know, if it breaks down, it's the homeowner's problem. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Uh, it's not the, not the district. Yeah, and I think what I'm stating is that the district's held to a different standard from everybody else. And I, I yeah. That. yeah, yeah, I, that, that, that doesn't, doesn't thing right. It's it's putting um, you know pressure on the ratepayers of Bayview to be well helpful for right. that. that they yep. be. Well, it's worth a try. It really is. Right. And, and maybe so, even Colleen, we could suggest a field talk to the city of Dalton Gardens for how they did it to where they they have people responsible for pumping their tanks every three to five years. And the, the Dalton Gardens is not, but they're responsible for getting it done and reporting it. That might be some, uh, help us with our permitting process if we were to get something similar. Right. Okay. Um, Bob, could, could you kind of, um, send field an, an email and just give him a little background of this? So he, you know, knows what right. the issues are. Yeah, I'd be glad to. I think I should copy Bob Hansen on it also because he's, That's he's, good. he's yeah. you know, he writes up the permit and he puts the report in at the end of the year, and maybe both he and I could talk about it and then, uh, get get involved with that. So I'll get it right here. Yeah, get it to field before the next meeting. So, uh, Colleen, do you want to make a motion to try to recoup some of our money from the condo association for the pump? Yes, I I will uh, make the motion. Uh, that we notify them that we it's been determined that their wiring caused the failure of the pump and that we just recently replaced a pump and that um, we have decided that they will pay for this new pump due to the wiring causing it. All right, any more discussion on that then? I have just a brief discussion, and Jesse, I don't know if you've gotten the invoice for that yet. It may be too soon, but I wonder if it might be good with RC Worst to let them know in advance in the invoice that, to state the cause of the problem with that pump so that we have it on the RC Worst invoice. Maybe they do. I don't know. But that's, that's a good idea. Yeah. 
that yeah. helped. Okay. Um, so uh, I call for the vote, I guess. For well, the, the, the motion wasn't seconded. Yeah, it needs to be seconded. Oh. Well, I'll second it then. Okay. And then call for the question. I'll call for the question then. Aye. I'd yeah. be an army. No. Okay, majority gets the vote. And Jesse, too, if you, you know, review that letter with field, too. Definitely. Okay, thank you. Okay. I got a couple of letters I'm working on in with working on right. Brain's not awake today. <laughs> right. Okay. So, <clears throat> one we... thing, uh, Bob, that you should do uh, for, um, for, you know, for the condos and for, you know, all these other uh, uh, places that we have uh, uh, multiple buildings on the one septic tank is to make sure that, uh, that we have access to, uh, to the brick panel for uh, uh, for these areas so right. um, it, it like um, uh, the uh, boilers and um, the one over there on the corner there uh, I don't know, chance place to make sure that we have access to those those breakers in those areas and for one thing for instance like uh Kristen Morgan is their manager there. You know, I have her cell number, so that makes it a lot easier when you've got uh, somebody you, you can get a hold of all the time. Right. The condo association, you can't. I yeah. would suggest maybe that Field, you know, as a part of his letter, state that we need access to our, the breaker panels and the condos. Please provide us with a lockbox yeah. combination so that we can get in when no one's there. Because right. that's the that is overflowing. Yeah, and I well, think well, it's something. Or at least provide a point of contact. Uh, yes. And or both, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. uh, you never know if what if the con point of contact is on vacation. I don't know right. if they have a manager on site like they do at Boilers or Scenic Bay Marina, uh, but um, at least if we could get get a list of the combinations, and of course, and then also in that letter state that if you choose to change the combinations, please let Bayview yeah. Water your district know. Yeah. And this is something that I'll make sure gets in the new ordinance. There's, there's a lot of things that have come up like this that it, we need to state it in the ordinance, and I'll, I'll make sure that happens. And see, that Friday night, uh, that was important because there was somebody that actually knew was there that was staying in the condos that knew the combination to get in. If we hadn't, we would have had just the, the sewer, this, they couldn't flush overnight until we got a hold of somebody that had it. So that was good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the, the last thing I'll mention is that still needs to be repaired. So it's not only are they responsible, they need to re complete the repairs and put a new right. line. So, right. so that they can actually, and then they need to know that as a part of it, they do not have an alarm system on that. If something goes out, they'll discover <coughs> or smell something first before the alarm will tell them that there's an issue. <clears throat> well, hopefully we can get this letter prepared. I'll get it over to Field and he'll have his edits back to me. Um, hopefully by the end of the day so that we can just get the letter out and get the well, repair done. Well, then... Then you also need to uh, probably put a uh, deadline of when they need to get that repaired, and and then if they don't get it repaired, they you know uh, put some kind of a penalty in there for them not doing repair. But, and I think also I agree with Larry with the deadline, but given the impetus for doing that, you do not have an alarm system. If this fails, it's going to back up in your condos. This is why we have the deadline. Yeah, we need to advise them of that. That's right. I just don't know if we have anything set in our resolutions to actually be able to impose a penalty. Yeah, for okay. uh, well, uh, well, I think if the penalty of enough of the backing up in their condos should be given most. Yeah, uh, I'll definitely. Have an alarm system. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. Anything else? Um, I move that we adjourn the meeting. I second it. Okay. All in favor then? Aye. Aye. Aye.
All right. Have a good day, everybody. All right. You too. Bye-bye.